Designing and then constructing a circuit is one of the most tedious yet rewarding things you can do in the field of electronics. However, what if you could just break out a pencil, draw a circuit on a piece of paper, and have it work? By using basic drawing materials such as a graphite block or a pencil, we're going to be able to draw a circuit out on a piece of paper, hook a battery up to it, and actually power an LED light. In the early 90s, Forrest Mims unleashed several cool experiments on the world in his book called Science Projects. This first example was included. If we draw out a nice thick line on some paper, the graphite and the pencil will actually work as a resistor. And as you may or may not know, a resistor basically restricts the flow of electrical current. Graphite itself is a pretty terrible conductor of electricity, but it will carry just enough to light up an LED when the source is a 9 volt battery. Now an LED typically requires 3.5 volts to power up, and going too far above that could nuke the light itself. Due to the resistive properties in the graphite, we're actually able to cut that power flow down to a more reasonable amount which will power the LED safely. You'll also notice that the LED gets brighter and darker depending on how close we get to it. That's because we've actually created a variable resistor. But what if we wanted to make an actual circuit out of this? Would the resistive properties prove to be too great, or could we still transfer enough energy to light and power it up? So let's give it a try and find out. After doodling a little pencil maze, I poked the LED into a positive and negative terminals. I lowered the lights, and as you can see, it powered right up. Obviously some minor adjustments were needed to get everything to sit right, but the result was a paper circuit. Not being satisfied with just that, I wanted to up the ante just a little bit more and see if I could MacGyver myself a flashlight using just these materials. After scribbling two lines across the paper, I decided I would roll it up into a cone. After that was done, I made some minor adjustments and clipped it out so that the graphite would be visible at both ends. Then, adding a little bit of tape, we were able to seal it up. Now I just took a little bit more tape and added the LED to one end, and then clipped the batteries to the other end. Lumos! It worked pretty well considering what it was made of. I even discovered a monster lurking in the dark. So I thought that was pretty cool. MacGyvering a flashlight is always at the top of my list of boredom killers. Anyways, last week we told you we'd be giving away our solar phone that we created in the last video. Well, we took all the names down in a sheet and we picked one at random, so congratulations to Rob H. from Richmond, Virginia. That being said, I want to thank Netflix, which is one of our biggest supporters here at Scientific Tuesdays. They've got over 23 million members and they're the largest subscription service streaming TV shows and movies directly to you. When you become a Netflix member, you can instantly watch as many movies as you want on your PS3, your 360, your Wii, even your mobile devices or tablet PCs. If you've been wanting to check it out for a while, but maybe you're on a fence just a little bit, well, go to netflix.com slash science, you'll get the Scientific Tuesdays special, which is 30 days free. You really have nothing to lose here at all. So check it out, and you're going to love it. Thanks for tuning in, everyone, and we shall see you next week.